general relativity, step by step. As ever, I'm going to start with the Schwarzschild metric, 1 minus 2m over r, plus dr squared 1 minus 2m over r. Oh no, it's over that. Over 1 minus 2m over r. I was, so, I was so, so annoyed by this 2m, I got it wrong. Plus r squared, I'm going to write it out in full. d theta squared, oops, d theta squared, plus r squared sine squared theta d phi squared. Um, Oops. No, here it is. Okay, and uh, I'm going to say that 2m equals 1. Uh, I'm also going to make some other restrictions. I'm going to say that dt equals 0. I'm going to say that dr equals 0. I'm going to say that theta equals pi by 2 constant. So d theta equals 0 as well. So I'm just considering equatorial motion. So that leaves me with ds squared equals ds squared equals sure what's happening there. Uh, that's gone, that's gone, that's gone. R squared d phi squared. So if I've got some nice coordinates here and I want to go round a radius of r0, that's phi, then the total perimeter, I guess you say circumference, circumference, equals the integral from phi equals 0 to 2 pi, if I want to go around and come back again, of, um, so that says that ds equals plus or minus r d phi. It's plus or minus because we can go around clockwise or anti-clockwise, so I'll go around clockwise. Uh, so it's r0 d phi equals 2 pi r0, which is not as obvious as it looks. Of course the circumference is equal to 2 pi r0, but this is the same as flat space, and it's not flat space, so that is a non-obvious result. Let's just consider a slightly larger circle of radius r1, and of course the circumference there is going to be 2 pi r1. And now what I want to do is to consider how far it is to go from there to there. How far do I have to climb up? from this radius R, oops, R0 to this radius R1. How far is that? Well, of course, in flat space, it's just R1 minus R0. But in Schwarzschild space, it's a little bit different. I've got my metric here. Oops, keeps on dancing about. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do about that. Uh, da, da, da. Oh, still going. OK, so what happens here? We've got ds squared equals time stuff dr over 1 minus 1 over r. Uh, that's the r squared, of course. It's just radial motion, so we've got no thetas and no phis, and we're not considering progression in time, so we're just, we're, we're just concentrating on one of those things. And so what that says is that ds equals plus or minus dr over the square root of 1 minus 1 over r. Uh, plus or minus, because you can be going downwards or, or climbing outwards, depending on how, uh, which way you're going. Okay, so we've got that. And so, oh dear, this is going to drive me crazy. I think, it's, I think it's the fact that I'm holding my pen too close to, here we go. So that says that the total arc length S equals, I'll forget the plus or minus, the integral of dr over root 1 minus uh, 1 over r. And of course, we've got r equals r0 for the inner circle to r equals r1 for the outer one. Well, before we get too carried away, I just want to make the observation that's not equal to r1 minus r0. So we've got this radial coordinate. We've got this radial coordinate. It keeps on jumping about, and I don't like it. That has the correctly defined uh, circumference, and yet the distance between successive circles is not what you expect it to be in flat space because of this rather complicated integral here. Okay, well, let's see if we can do this. I've got a maximum, uh, no, no, a sage session set up here, and I'll go over here and we'll do it right now. Let's have a look at this. Bonk. So I've just set up, oh, do that again. There. So what I want to do is I want to integrate 1 over the square root of 1 minus 1 over r, close, with respect to r. 
And I think Shift Enter does the integration. Oh, there we go. Look at that. So this is a rather awkward expression. We've got logs, we've got square roots, very definitely not, uh, not constants. Of course, if I was doing this in flat space, my equivalent answer would be to do the integrate just one, I guess. Comma R. What's that? Just R, of course. And this and this one here is just not equal to that. So let's just let's just have a look at this. And let's just imagine I want to integrate one over the square root of one minus one over R from R, let's just say we want to climb from 1.1 1 .1 to 1.2. So what does this mean? And we're going to work out the path length when we go from radius of 1.1 to 1.2. Now in flat space, here, well here's the answer, it's just 0 0.1 because it's climbing from 1.1 to 1.2. What's the answer in flat space? What's the answer in um, Schwarzschild space? 0 0.28, 0 0.28. So let me just go back to my notepad, OneNote, can't find it, here it is. So what that tells me is we've got the integral from 1.1 to 1.2, dr over root 1 minus 1 over r, equals 0 0.28. So let me just draw that. We've got a circle of radius 1.1. We've got another circle of radius 1.2, and yet the distance here is 0 0.28. And of course, that cannot happen in flat space, because in flat space, the radius, uh, the radius, the, 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 that distance there is going to be 0 0.1 in flat space, and here it's nearly three times higher than that because of this non-linear integral. Space is not flat in the vicinity of a black hole, and I'm going to stop there. Stop.